good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro connect edition today i'm going to make a tutorial video based on what this um, man has said he said what does it mean when after designing beams some of them are violet black and green and also i had some beams where the supports were non and or unsupported how can i fix this so i have a simple model i've made already on start pro so I'm going to use this to explain. Okay, sorry. Okay. So let me remove all specifications so I can explain it for you. Now, you can see that on this building, I have these beams like this, and these are my from. Let me visit in this. Sorry. Now. These are the primary beams, these beams, primary beams, while these are the secondary beams, resting on the beam. So what I want to do is try and release moments on these beams and on these beams so they don't transfer moment to it. So what I'm trying to do, specification, so start, this is also start, assign to selected beams, assign, then this is also end because it is blue in this direction, assign to selected beams. Okay, so we've done that. Next thing we do is done our support. We've loaded it. You can see your loadings, self weight, this, this. You can see your live load, this. Then you can see the service load. Then you can see my ultimate 1.4 times dead and 1.6 times live. Then you can see my analysis, perform analysis. Then I'm not designing, I'm using the concrete designer. So, first thing I do is run my analysis okay so while we wait for it so we have zero error zero one in our one node so we can go to our post processing i'm just interested in this ultimate load okay i'm interested in i can see my bending moment see my bending moment I can see my shear forces i can turn off my displacement and see them so the next thing i need to do is go to my concrete design so while we wait for the concrete design okay so first thing you do is put your job info your job name client job number and everything next thing you need to do is create an envelope so let me create one envelope concrete one okay so it show you it shows your load cases now let's assume you didn't create any load combination you can untick this place and it brings out your dead and live load you created before and bring it back so what i need now is only my combination so i bring them in okay so after that next thing i need to do is form members now if you don't form members it should design each members individually which is not right in fact start pro won't even design it you have to form members so you highlight it and auto form members at that auto form member when you choose your member cursor this cursor and you select it you see that selecting it at once all members on the same line select that once select this also at once and see this so each member next thing i'm supposed to form slab if there was a slab but for now there's no slab then group and brief so i'm going to create brief for my beams beams okay so my concrete cover 25 25 25 this is four i can design for torsion concrete strength this main reinforcement 16 25 16 25 of steel 410 shear reinforcement 410 and then okay okay so after that i create for my column also okay so concrete strength this 410 410 also i need 10 um 16 20 because i know the columns are not carrying much so there are no shear walls so i'm going to they're going to be unbraced 
the member load chases are bringing all this okay so the next thing i need to do now is to group them so i select tell start pro okay design this one as beam design this one as column and something like that so the next thing i do is go to my front view i light all the beams hold control for multiple selection and make sure the beams are selected new design brief i say beam design okay so that's what the beam designs you can see them remember one two three up to twelve next thing is my column design so select my column oh, sorry so, so i can see my column selected so columns okay so i can see that so next thing i do is design so to design come to concrete member then currently i'm currently on the beam so i'm currently on the column that's why the column they are thick black and they are not designed so next thing i do is design it design now okay so you can see green they are all passed then you can see the member layout and see what's telling to provide this and see your share reinforcement then you can see anything you want so let's next thing i do is go to my beam now so beam design so you can see my beam is still black now you can see for this point let's start support so for member one this is member one it's telling you fix 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 with that support everywhere now what i want you to notice is that at this point here there is support so it is fixed now let's look at member two this is member two so fix 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 right up. but let's look at this one now member four member four is telling me no support no support no support so there's no support here no support here no support here but in actual sense i know there's a support here support here and support here so i change it to simply simply supported simple support and sorry and simple okay so i fix that then also for member three simple simple this point and also this one too no support this also no support and this also no support then i design so you can see everything in green and you can see your main layout this is your bending moment diagram that's the distill to provide main reinforcement you can see this 2i16 read it maybe for this let's say this so for this point now we have 3y20 then that's for the sagging 3y20 this is the moment you can take the moment and use it to redesign again so thank you for watching today's video please make sure you subscribe and if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section thank you very much